Hey everyone, welcome to Earth's Veil. I'm Kat and I'm doing a general collective reading, love reading for you guys. And this is just a journal reading, so remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If it doesn't fit, don't try to make it. Okay. So let's see, what do we have in love? For the collective. What do we have in love for the collective? What's going on? In love for the collective. I hope everyone is doing well. Okay, what do we have for the collective? So when I was messing around with the cards, these two fell out when I was kind of shuffling and meditating on uh, your guys' energy. I got change. <clears throat> so, and what it says is, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So, um, yeah, that pretty much explains itself. So, there could be, you could find yourself in a situation where um, it's requiring movement, right, from someone's part or from both. But it's, you know, so things can evolve, so things can um, get stronger. You know, you need movement here or nothing's going to grow, right? Okay. And we also have death. So I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. So some of you guys could have recently went through an ending here. And now you're starting something new. Okay, because we have death here. We have change and we have death. Yeah, okay. We have adaptability and overcoming obstacles. So some of you guys could be just finding yourself trying to adapt to a situation. Okay, there can be some obstacles here. At the bottom of the deck, we have happiness, success, and fame. So some of you guys could be in the limelight, have some sort of platform or something like that, or someone that you're dealing with does. But um, there's also happiness and success here in this relationship because we're talking about love here. So yeah, there could be some um, adapting <laughs> taking place. Um, yeah, and overcoming obstacles because something here needs to change. So there needs to be some kind of movement so this relationship can grow, right? So it can evolve because nothing can change, nothing. If there's no movement, it can't grow, it can't evolve, you know? So I feel like you could be in a place where you're kind of feeling stuck, like not really knowing which way that you want to go or what it is that you need to do okay but we're gonna see we'll find out i also got um when i was meditating on you guys that to release negativity so you can welcome in positive positivity so whenever you're you know you, there is a meditation you can look it up or whatever but you kind of you breathe in you know, positive and breathe out the negative. And, um, you know, that can be beneficial too. So I feel like some of you guys have really been through a lot when it comes to love. So it's kind of hard for you to trust. You're not really sure. And, it, and it's easy for your mind to kind of go back and forth or for your mind to play tricks on you, right? Especially if this is a good connection. It's, it's just easy for you to kind of go to, uh, to the past and what things that you've been through and wonder is this is this going to happen again you know it makes you fearful so um yeah i mean you don't have to do that meditation if you don't want to but you know it could help i'm just saying it could help <laughs> all right so let's see what do you have for love spirit holy spirit archangel saints of guides ancestors of the highest white light and ascended masters where do we have for the collective in love? And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it if it resonates with you. Okay. The 
bottom of the deck we have the um, Ace of Swords. So this is actually victory or someone speaking the truth, um, letting things be known. I feel like you guys are dealing with someone that's, you know, uh, very kind of, uh, just really in their feelings when it comes to you. They want to speak a truth here about, you know, getting something started or about things moving along. Yeah, like starting a new cycle here. And I, I do feel, yeah, I do feel there is some fear because we have the moon here. That's like fear. But there's a lot of emotions here. Maybe you don't see how much this person really cares for you. But they want this new beginning. So, you know, this could be someone new in your life or um, you just want to have a new beginning with this person. And, you know... I feel like someone here just wants to speak the truth about, you know, moving things forward. They view this relationship as a, as a victory. This person could be at a distance. But there's a lot of emotions here. Almost like, I'm always getting the energy of like drowning in emotion, if that makes sense. Um... But there is some fear here about, you know, just taking that leap of faith and moving things forward. But like, it, you know, this card says, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So I feel like someone knows that they need to move. Okay. So in the past, in this connection, you have the Seven of Pentacles. So someone here was putting in the time, the effort... You know, planting their seeds, watching it grow. Yeah, a new beginning when it came to something that you were very, very passionate about. Or someone that you were very passionate about and very attracted to in all the, the good ways. <laughs> so, this is, um, yeah, just a passionate new beginning. And someone putting time and effort. Someone could have, in the past, withdrawn, like, took their energy back, walked away, like, just, because we have the, the Eight of Cups, so this is like walking away from, from this new beginning. So I feel like someone here was putting time and effort and, you know, and things like that and planting their seeds in this connection and there was a new beginning when it came to passion and stuff but someone took back their energy they withdrew what's the eight of cups what's the eight of cups yeah so in the in the past there was like there could have been some kind of waiting here also but Someone walked away. When they walked away, it made them very sad. Because, you know, I feel like they were just very confused, too. You know, you could have been dealing with someone that had a lot of options, or you have a lot of options, or something like that. I don't know. I just feel like this person, you know, whoever you're dealing with, or this could be you, you can reverse, reverse it, however. It's just, you know, there was time invested, and there was waiting and someone walked away. And when they did though, they walked into sadness here. You know? Like someone missed you. They they were longing for you. And but they were also confused too when it came to to this situation or to, you know, how to go about things. Uh, yeah. They were trying to get clarity. Someone here got clarity in the past. That 
perhaps being without you made them sad. Yeah, they missed you. Okay. Or maybe they were confused about what was actually going to make them happy. I don't know. You should take it. In the present moment, though, you have the Five of Swords. So this is like chaos, conflict, um, drama, things like that. Um, let's, let's clarify that. Yeah, someone here is stressed out. They have their anxiety. It's, it's not the best. There's a lot of communication coming in, though. A lot of, um, like, passionate, you know, communication back and forth through text or what have you. What's this eight? Maybe just a lot of. What is ooh? Another five of swords. Hmm. I don't know. Collective. This is. Uh, I don't know. We got to be careful with this energy. It's like. And there's the big change coming in. It's going to happen really fast, though. It has something to do with a commitment. It has something to do with, you know, pushing forward. Because we, I do have the chariot here, cancer energy. But it's like moving forward, overcoming obstacles. This reminds me of the cancer, you know, the, the chariot energy. Okay, so to, you know, have their ten of cups, to have, you know, wish fulfillment. You know, happy, to be happy. But... Maybe some more on the Five of Swords. I feel like there's just too many people involved, maybe. Like, too many people in someone's ear. It's, um, I'm getting the energy of, like, too many people in the connection, or too many opinions, maybe. There's someone here that definitely, you know, you guys could be just really focusing on work right now, wanting to come together and work with someone. I just feel like they're just too, too many people. In the present moment, it's like you're just focusing on your work, your finances, things like that. Some of you guys are working really hard and it, when it comes to this connection, though, yeah, there could have been a lot of fights, a lot of arguments, a lot of misunderstanding. Someone here could be playing games. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to call it like it is. Someone here could be really playing some mind games here. I don't know. It's kind of like winning at all costs. Give me more. Come on. Well, someone's manifesting. Why are they manifest? Yeah, someone here, someone here is sneaky. Someone here is holding back. Someone here is not telling the truth. Um, be careful with this energy. They're being very strategic. Just at this time, collective, whoever you're dealing with, be careful. Okay, with whoever you're dealing with, just be careful. What do you got? Magician. That's a this you're someone here could be dealing with a trickster. Yeah, okay, something's coming in that's like very shocking. It's uh yeah. Okay. Alright, if some of you guys have been dealing with a water sign, a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Virgo here that you've had some kind of fight or altercation with or there was too many people in, in this connection, things like that. Um, they're trying to manifest you back. Like, they want you back. And they're going to come in really quickly, too. It's going to be sudden. It's going to shock you. You're not going to see this coming. Someone here is definitely in their emotions. Yeah, you're not going to see this coming, collective. They, they're wanting to take control 
control of the situation because they're wanting a new start with you. They're wanting a new beginning. You know, um, they they took some time to you know figure it out. You know, Virgo energy here again. They took some time to figure it out what they want because it looks like there's been a lot of fight and and things like that. It, yeah, it's definitely someone from your past. Six of Cups. So, so someone from your past could be coming back, and it, and you're not gonna see it. And I don't. I think you got you guys had a. A bad falling out. Yeah, okay, so the death makes sense here. So I'm learning that the endings are merely beginning. So some of you guys have had an ending. This person, if this is not a new person, if this is someone that you've been dealing with, in the near future, this person's going to come back because they, they have love for you. And, it, and they're kind of going to be in that energy of win at all cost, okay? Like, the, you know, no matter what, the, this is what they want. This is what they realize that they want. So I feel like someone did walk away from you in the past, um, probably for other options, and those other options didn't work out, you know? And so now they want to be happy, and they want to try to come in and, and work things out. So expect some communication from someone from your past that you've had a, a bad falling out with, okay? But, you know, Spirit is saying, remember that endings are, any be, or, or, you know, are merely the beginnings. So, yeah, be careful. And, and just be careful with the energy. Because I said, I see the magician with the Seven of Swords, and that, that's just not... It's not good energy for me, and then this person's coming back, and you know, it is going to be shocking, it's going to be surprising. They're going to try to come back and apologize, All right? So, but I'm, I'm just you know, you do what you want to do, we all have free will, just be careful, okay? So, in the future, what do we have depending on free will? We have four. We have the Queen of Pentacles here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You might be dealing with someone that has that in their chart. So we'll see. What do we have for the Queen of Pentacles? What is this? Yeah, okay. So someone is definitely like feeling stuck in a situation or you know, like mentally stuck, right? There are lots of anxiety. This is a very nervous person. Um, and that, like, thinking about you during the day and can't sleep at night kind of thing. It's just because they want this connection with you, the Queen of Pentacles again. So you're someone very loving, nurturing, stable, okay, a uh, good mother, things like that, good with business. And, and you're doing your thing. You're looking good. You're smelling good. Like, you know, you're the full package, here and and you would consider yourself single right but there's an offer coming in someone wants to present you with an offer and it's a big offer you know it's an offer of you know long-term stability you know something tangible it could even want to gift you something but let's see this this ace of pentacles yeah somebody wants the ten of cups with you so there is happiness here somebody wants this family they do they they see you as someone that they really want that brings them a lot of happiness into their life a lot of joy i i, I think you're going to think on this collective i, I don't think uh, you know I think you're going to be very defensive. I think you're really going to stand your ground if this person tries to come back to you. Because I see you in the energy of really just taking care of you, taking care of yourself. You know, um, just being really abundant within yourself. And I feel like this, this person, I think you know that this person is, is a trickster, right? But they're manifesting you. I mean, they're, they are going to... Do whatever it takes to win you back, get you back. It's too many. Yeah. Because being without you has really been a burden for this person. Let's get some more on this. What's the Ten of Cups? But this person 
He's, I mean, they see it. Yeah, the chariot. Again, overcoming obstacles. I'm telling you, somebody here is going, yeah, you're going to, you're, I don't know, collective, I think you're going to be uh, closed off here. You have a bit, and also I, see, I don't think you see this coming. I don't think you're going to expect this. You're someone that, I think this person has really put you through a lot. Yeah, you're going to stand your ground. You're going to establish boundaries on what you will accept, what you won't accept. And I don't even know if you would accept this person back. Because for some of you, I feel like you're, you're on to something new or, or starting something new with someone else. But this person is wanting to overcome any type of obstacles. Both of these cards are just screaming, moving forward, pushing past these obstacles when it comes to this relationship or, you know, whatever this was to you. It's definitely someone I feel like you had a fallen out with. And they, now they've realized that, you know, they want you back. And hearing that song, um, I want you back. No, I want you back, yeah. They could see or find out that you're with someone new. I don't know. So, yeah, they're definitely coming for you, the King of Wands. They know what they want, and what they want is you. Now, if you guys are dealing with someone new, this person wants to offer you a solid commitment, right? And they're going to overcome obstacles and they're going to push forward and, you know, because they, they want this Ten of Cups with you, right? You're their wish fulfillment. You're what they want. They see you as someone very attractive and, and all that stuff too. So just take it how it resonates. But if, they, if you guys are dealing with someone or, or, or if that resonates with you, someone from your past that you had a bad falling out with, that there was just too many people, too much drama, too much conflict, things like that, be careful with that person. Because we have two kings here. So two people. I feel like there's one with an ending and there's one that you could potentially evolve, right? But there needs to be change. There has to be change for things to grow. Or maybe this person thinks that they can come back. Or, you know, maybe uh, they feel as though they have changed. Okay, but I don't think so. Because they're still showing up very much as someone that, you know, is playing games here. Okay, the Five of Swords energy is not really my favorite. I'm just saying. Not like this. Okay, so let's see. There's some kind of trick. Yeah, somebody here wants a new beginning in love. Or you guys have new love coming in. Because, look, you, these, you have all the aces out here. I'm just going to show you. You can't make this up. You have all, you see, some of you guys definitely have something new coming in. You have the Ace of Wands. You have the Ace of Cups. You have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. So all brand new, okay? All new. All right. So the Ace of Swords, what is this for the collective? What is this truth? I feel like somebody here wants to speak the truth. Yeah, someone here wants to speak the truth. You have the Queen of Swords. And then you have the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is kind of like a, the Wounded Warrior. Someone here definitely has their guard up. You know, they don't want to repeat things from the past, things like that. And that's what, let's go back to whenever I was meditating on you guys. What I got is the negativity needed to be released, right? And you need to replace that with positivity. Like you can't. Let your mind go always to the negative or you let fear get in your way of your past because of your past. So you have the Ace of Swords. I feel like someone here wants to communicate, you know, uh, I, I feel like you're going to, I feel like you're going to communicate to this person that like, look, you put me through a lot. This is someone that put you through a lot. I mean, they put you in the Nine of Swords energy and <laughs> the Wounded Warrior, right? And I feel like you're going to, with the Queen of Swords, that's the energy of, you know, take no crap, do no harm kind of thing, you know? Like, I just, you know, look what you put me through. Like, I, I don't want that. I really feel like, yeah, this person's coming in. They want an equal give and take. It's taking a lot of strength. They want to invest time. They've been, they're just patiently waiting to speak this truth to you. And look, I feel like you're going to say no because... They cost you heartbreak. I don't think you're going to want an equal give and take with this person. 
I just don't. I don't I think this person from the past, whoever this person is, whoever this King of Cups is, you know, and it, the signs really doesn't matter. But whoever this King of Cups is, that it's just, I, I'm not getting a good feeling from that person. Now, the someone new, they could see you as, you know, wanting to work with you and push forward in a new beginning and, and start a life, start a family, however. You know, they see you as someone that they really want. They find you very, very attractive, very sexy, very, you know, all that good stuff. I mean, they see you as, you know, the whole package. And uh, they want you. They want you. And they want to move this forward. So expect some change coming in. I do feel like there's going to be some movement. And there's going to be some growth in a connection. And I do feel like you're going to set some strong boundaries when it comes to this past person. This past person is missing you, though. But they went out to explore other options and they just realized that no one can really compare to you, right? So now that you've moved on, you've had an ending to start a new beginning. They want to come back. So yeah, that don't hit very well, does it? <laughs> just saying. All right, collectors, so that's what I have for you. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've liked it. Um, and uh, yeah, like, share, subscribe if you feel led to, and I'll catch you later. Bye.